So the climbing wall is done. So you can uh, see it all there complete. Over here you can see the, uh, this is a 10 degree angle that I got going all the way down through. And uh, that, that gives a pretty good workout, you know, 10 degrees. It makes a big difference versus the vertical. And the uh, ceilings are about nine and a half foot tall here. So I guess I should call this a bouldering wall, not a climbing wall. But I'll walk down through it and kind of show you my climbing wall. There's, there's Mateo's face that he put in. And uh, got some artwork finished here. There's the, the doodah man, the trucking man, whatever you want to call him. And uh, here's the climbing cave. So uh, we would have to put uh, some climbing pads under there if you ever really wanted to start using that, which we do intend to do. But uh, I don't know, I, I guess without some climbing pads there, you might fall and break your head. So wouldn't want that to happen. And uh, some more artwork over here. My my dancing bears I got on there. If you like dancing bears, I think they turned out pretty well. And there's the end of the 10 degree angle, and then it goes over to a vertical wall over here. And then here's the other side, uh, the other supporting wall for my cave. And with this, you have the option you can boulder uh, through the doorway I put in it, or you can boulder around it like this and uh, the other side there and then over to the end of the climbing wall so um, let's see yeah so I I ordered a bunch of climbing holds from Russia and they came in they're pretty cool actually um, got some of these you see them uh, they got a uh, they got good friction on them and you can see that you know they they got some surface area around behind where you can actually get your hands there, fingers there, and work with them, and uh, the friction's pretty good on them. Here's another one. Oh, and I'll kind of go through and <laughs> show you these. I guess these are called emotive holds. They're pretty cool. Here's one. That's a pretty neat one up there. These are probably all made by some uh, Russian babushka lady or something like that up in uh, making money for the homeland. <laughs> another one, another one. So you can see, you know, they got these bolts in them that uh, go into the T nuts that I put back behind all the, so I could put holes anywhere. And so there you can see like a T nut where I can screw all these holes in and. I got, you know, the whole T-nut holds all over, so you can put climbing holds anywhere. But uh, these, these holds from Russia came with bolts that don't fit any of my T-nuts. And I don't know, I guess I figured that, you know, climbing holds and the climbing routes would be kind of a universal thing, whether they were European or Russian or American or something, but I don't know, maybe the, the bolts they sent me with all these are metric instead of American or something like that, but I actually might have stripped out a couple of my T-nuts before I kind of figured out that the bolts they sent me with it weren't going to work in the T-nuts I had on the wall. But fortunately, I had a bunch of uh, other bolts ordered that were um, extra, so I, I managed to put up most of my holds, and I still have to get a few more, but uh, yeah, working out pretty well. Going to be climbing like a Ruski. Okay, well, one project down and uh, 100,000 more to go. Climbing like a Ruski. Climbing like a Ruski. Climbing like a Ruski. What? 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 Climbing like a Ruski. <laughs> What's going on here? Climbing like a no, Ruski. No, I can't be climbing like a Ruski forever. Climbing like a oh, Ruski. No. Stop it.